Hey everybody, do you remember this? M Lego Master Chief. Yeah. Welcome back to Lego Halo! And I've got two wall stalls, a weapons rack, a proud blue marine, a blue flag, and of course Master Chief to review for you guys. You've seen him already? I thought it would be good to throw him in here because he's like the leader of all them Spartans and Marines and yes I love Halo if you were wondering and yeah you all know him already if you don't check out my other video where I um, review him in depth um, I'll just quickly show him to you he's got a black assault rifle with spray painted silver details Let's put that in the weapons rack. That guy was trying to drive away. Bad grey water. And this is how it looks like. Everything self-made, homemade. The armor and the helmet. I didn't buy them anywhere. That's Master Chief. Wow. Chief really wants to smack down. Here's the proud blue marine that's defending its flag from the bad, bad red marines and uh, red spartans and covenants and whatever. This is from red versus blue. And it's got a magnum. Yep. Let's put that in the weapons rack. Oh, I'm a f I fail. I'm a real buffoon. Wow. Okay. Got it in. There we go. It's Master Chief. Got a Power Minus helmet, Death Watch armor, and I think that's an Endor Walker guy from Star Wars head. I thought it fit very good, maybe. Oh wow. Master Chief loves to fall down today. I don't know why, but yeah. And this is the weapons rack. It contains a magnum, a strange full auto firing gun, a sky fire blaster and an assault rifle. Here it has a little control panel focus. Thank you. If we turn it around, we see some details, a timer, a control panel, and that's about it for the weapons rack. This is the flag. Whoa. Yep. This is the flag. You can take it out of the flag stand. And then you can run, run, run. And I think you're actually able in the game to run and hold a magnum at the same time. I'm not sure if that's a mod or if that's in the game. Tell me in the, tell me in the comments below, please. That would be very nice. And yeah, and then he puts it back in the stand, and everything is well. So now we're getting to the exciting part, and I'm gonna make a small cut here, and we'll see you at the Warthogs. Let's start with the gray one. Warthogs in gray, W I P. So, this is my Warthog in grey. I'll just give you a quick 360 spin and then I'll go on to the details. It was my second Warthog. It's not as good as the red one, that's why I saved the red one up for last. But I like it too. And here I gave it a little kind of space where you can put hidden stuff, like this gun. Or maybe, if that's not enough, you can even steal Master Chief. Yeah. Well, the Blue Marine won't do that, so let's put that back and close it again. Here it's just got some armoring at the sides, here and here. There's a little step that the Marine can get better on. Drop, drop. Then back here there's the turret you can actually hold it onto it um, like this put on and now he's holding the turret by this little thing here 
Okay. So yay, Marine holding a turret. You can fire. Pew pew pew. And of course, you can also go into the Warthog. He's just a little bit more armoring, and this is how he looks from inside. And now he's driving the Warthog. He has no suspension whatsoever. This is how it looks down here. I wanted this to more be like a heavy armored Warthog tank thing of magic. Not like the real Warthog, it should be like more armored. That's why it's so armored up here. And then this rotates. And that's about it for the gray Warthog. W I G. Warthog in gray. Now let's go to W I R. Warthog in red. Warthog in red. W I R. Da -da -da -da. So this is him, the glorious Warthog in red. But before I go into any detail, I have to give credit to Lego Boy or Solid Brick Studios, however you want to call him, for giving me some ideas on the design over here for the sitting area and for some design of this. Not the turret, I mean this part that goes down there and like that, that was inspired by him. So credits to Solid Brick Studios or Lego Boy, however you want to call him. And now let's get on to the 360 spin. La 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 I shouldn't sing that, copyright issues. And that's him, the Red Warthog. Here, I went into much more detail, like this small detail, which the Warthogs have. He looks much more like a Warthog. Unfortunately, I built him in red, because I wanted to make a bit cool um, stop-motion film from red versus blue. I'm still working on that. And that should come sometime in the future, not too soon. Because I also have other stuff to do. And here's a bumper. The sides are kind of sloped, like in the game, a little bit. This is the turret. It's more... It looks... Oh, sorry. It looks more like a goshawk turret than a warthog turret. But I actually pretty like it. Master Chief can unfortunately not hold on to it, as you can see. But you can... Put his hand into there and yeah it'll fall off oh that won't work you can just pretend that he's firing here are two bumpers to hold on to and this is how it looks from the inside and yeah i forgot to tell you you can't open it over here because there's some technic building in there then here you can fit Master Chief in perfectly. And now to the best part, the suspension. Let's say he wants to drive over this. The front wheels have independent su suspension. Sorry guys, I wasn't really holding the camera good. That's why it can drive like that. One wheel up, one wheel down. And they can go until here. That means you can even drive like that if he would wish to, which I don't know why he would want it. But the front wheels can also go like this to make turning easier, like they can turn. Now to the back wheels, they just have, um, they don't have independent suspension. The suspension works together and they can't move. So well, that's as good as I thought it because I didn't have too many parts to work with. And here's also just a little step up for Master Chief to get onto. It's a little bit harder than the Grey Warthog. Yay! 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 And now 
to the outro and the big battle. Okay, now to the battle that you shall wield. Tell me in the comments which of these two authors is better. Let's say vote one uh, red. So if you are for the red warthog, write vo vote one red. If you are for the grey warthog, write vote two grey. I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed, enjoyed. If you have liked this video, please, our uh, rating would be greatly appreciated. If you have subscribed, do think about doing it. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.